somebody Help, not just anybody Help, you know I need someone Alright, so here's my finished code. And now what you're gonna do is when you're finished code is hit F6, which will build the function or will build the uh the project to make sure that there are no errors. And as you can see I have no errors, so I am able to continue on with the next part. The build function creates a DLL file within the uh Visual Studio your project folder, um, which we'll be using to put the uh interaction onto the actual file. Also be sure to remember the namespace you gave it, followed by the class you gave it as well, as we will be we will need that in the next part of the tutorial. So you're gonna go ahead and open up Sims 3 PE. Uh go back and open up your project. Now we're gonna be creating a new instance or a new uh resource, uh, which will be an S three SA file. First you're gonna go into tools FNV hash and for your text to hash um go ahead and put your namespace dot your uh, class name so in my case I'd be ma dot talking teddy you're going to calculate that and so you're going to go into the fn64 uh, hash and you're going to copy it now what we're going to do is we're going to add the resource so go ahead and add the resource um, for the group function the group function is 0x one, and then followed by 8 zeros two, three, four. So for the instance name, will be that hash number that we put in. So go ahead and paste that there. For EP flags, um, for those without world adventures like myself, uh, EP flags is just 0x00. I'm not sure what it is for world adventures, so um, you can go ahead and just probably look at this uh, for objects that were made for world adventures. For name, go ahead and just talk it, uh, give it your class name, followed by DLL. Now for the type function, you're going to go ahead and scroll down all the way to S3SA, which, if I can find it, is 0x073FAA07. So now you're going to go ahead and hit OK. So now we're going to go back to the objk file. We're going to go into grid. Go back to that key file name that we had before. And now you're going to change it to the Coley your, uh your li your namespace followed by your uh class name. So call you Pokemon dot talking teddy and go ahead and hit OK and commit. And so now go down to your new S three SA file, go into grid, and go ahead and import your DLL file that we made. If you install everything in the normal spot, it should be inside the uh my documents under Visual Studio two thousand eight under projects under the project name in this case it would be tutorial uh, inside that name folder again under the obj file and then in the release folder and as you can see there's a nice dll file for us I'm gonna go ahead and open that commit that and then go ahead and save and now your object is perfectly ready and with the new script added to the object um, don't, let's, don't let this tutorial stop you there I go ahead and you know you create your own objects to clone and give interactions. Um, you also make sure you can go and test your file inside the Sims 3. Now, so sometimes your objects will get weird names such as um, you know like asterisk asterisk and other things just really long uh, nasty names. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and change that right now. Okay, so what you're gonna do to fix that is you're gonna go back to the FN and hash um, and you're going to type in your namespace, so call your Pokemon, followed by your class, so Talking Teddy, and then followed by the interaction name. For mine, mine was Talk to Me, so go ahead and do that, and then calculate the FN hash. Be sure to write that down. For some reason, copying and pasting will not work in this instance. So once you have that written down, go ahead and find the SDBL files. These are the string files for names and stuff like that. So you're going to find your language. You can do other languages if you feel like it but I'll be doing English, so go ahead and edit that. Go ahead and type in your new instance name. Mine was OX3E441C264078C. Go ahead and hit Add, and I'll give it to, to what you want the interaction to be named. I want this to be Talk to Me, so whenever you hit it, it will talk to you. So go ahead and save that, commit the changes, and save your file. Um, that is it for this tutorial. 
you have learned how to clone an object, how to make new scripts, how to attach the scripts, and how to change the name of the interaction. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. I um, hope to be seeing a lot of good creations soon. I'd like to say thanks to all those who helped me, uh, especially Wido, Rick, Tiger, and Chaos Mage for answering the questions, for Shri for telling me how to start, or to start, and just for the Sim Supply and Mod the Sims.